Hi, my name is Ellen. I'm the fourth year resident at UPMC Hammett's ENT program. A little bit about myself. I'm originally from Texas. I have a small little family where it's me, my husband, who's a hospitalist at St. Vincent, two and a half year old daughter, and then my manager Schnauzer. I plan on pursuing a position in general ENT when I'm finished with training. Our program stands out for many reasons. Our attendings are there for us. Our training and our, our education is very important to them. It's their priority and our case volume is great. It shows such that our senior residents are comfortable enough and capable to guide our junior residents through larger cases and that's really important to me. Also, we're not competing for cases. A lot of the time our training is one-on-one -on -one, and that allows for an individualized training, which is great. Hospital staff in the OR are very supportive and respectful. You get to know them kind of on a one-on-one -on -one basis and it makes for working in the OR really, really fun, especially on your longer days. Our residents have each other's backs as well. We're all different in our own personalities, yet we mesh really well as a team. And that's really important when you're transferring call and taking care of each other. I feel like our program at Hammett is a solid program and it's a great place to spend the next several years while you're training to become a well-rounded and competent um, otolaryngologist. Hello, my name is Sean Carroll, I'm the program director for the otolaryngology head neck surgery program for UPMC Hammett in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'd like to thank you for your interest in our program and viewing this video and I hope to share a little bit more light about our program for you. From a surgical volume standpoint, I think there is no reason why you would not have probably one of the best surgical experiences of any program across the country. We are a seven person group that is the only group serving about a 750,000 population area. So the surgical volumes are significant. Most of the residents will have their communicator cases and adequately and competently perform them by the time they're finishing up their fourth year. That allows their chief year to be somebody who is going to be an observing or a teaching surgeon. We also have a large office where there is somebody in the office all day long, every day, at least one or two providers. This allows for a very good and sound office-based experience. As far as Erie is concerned, I'm a little bit biased. I grew up here. I actually could not wait to get back to home to practice. It's a beautiful town of about 250,000. It's set on the shores of Lake Erie. One of our prized jewels is the peninsula, which is about 13 miles of beaches and bay and lake. There's an awful lot of opportunity for uh, beach activities, boating activities, skiing, water skiing, and fishing. In fact, we're probably one of the biggest areas in the country that people come for fishing. You can be at the ski slopes in the wintertime in about a half hour from Hammond and you can also be in the foothills of the Allegheny Mountains for hiking, camping, or exploring. Hey guys, my name is Monik Saran. I am the current intern here at Hammett. I came to Hammett for a couple different reasons. Number one for me was the resident autonomy and the experience that we get operatively throughout the five years. I think the graduated responsibility as well as the caseload throughout your, our five years proves to be very successful once you're attending out on your own. Number two what really brought me here was the team camaraderie. What I wanted in a residency program was a group of residents that I could go out and get dinner with on a Friday, but at the same time, any one of them could have my back at 3 a.m when things aren't going well and, and I really need some backup and need some help. And I think we really have that here at Hammond. I think we all get along really well and that was pretty important to me uh, specifically. In terms of career goals, I would love to teach medical students as well as residents at some point in my career. I also have a career goal to do a, a mission trips yearly or every other year to kind of give back to communities that are in need uh, the most of our, our expertise. Hey guys, this is Joe Derbyshire. I'm the current chief here at UPMC Hammett up in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, a little bit about me is I'm originally from Staten Island, New York, by way of Lincoln Memorial University for medical school down in Tennessee. A little bit about our faculty, and I think this is what's a real big bonus about Erie, is that we're able to have such a diverse group of people we have seven primary ENTs that we work with, half DO, half MD. We also work with two neurotologists that are world-renowned. They do a great job with us in our fifth year, walking us through complicated 
ear cases, skull base cases, whatnot. We also work with two plastic surgeons. We do a lot of facial plastics and a lot of facial trauma with them. So you'll definitely be competent after that. And then we also work with two oral surgeons who cover most of the mandibles here. So we will come out with a good amount of mandible experience. So overall, I mean, we have close to 13 physicians that we work with on a daily basis. So 13 to five ratio. So surgical volume is definitely one of our positives here in the area. You get a ton of surgical experience. And then we also get a diversity of learning experience where we're learning from physicians that have been practicing for 35 years. And then some that have been practicing for up to about 10 years now. All of our faculty are very well trained and they've all been teaching for quite a long time.